So we're talking about how to create a turnkey business. And in the first session, we talked about what a turnkey business is. We talked about, you know, the different levels of work and how you as the business owner, you're going to have to get out of the technical trenches and start thinking on a management level and thinking about what are the things that need to be done, how should they be done, and who, who are the people who need to be doing them. And then even elevate your mindset more to think on a strategic level. And we talked about what a strategic business owner does and, and what, a, what a strategic business owner looks like. And then in the last session, we talked about uh, the uh, components of a system and how to start documenting procedures and, and to uh, state your policies with each of your systems or your processes. In this session, I want to focus on just one thing, and that is what makes a system work? When I've talked to business owners who have tried to do this before, they said, yeah, I documented that, but nobody does it. Or, yeah, you know, we tried to do that, but it just didn't work for us. And I don't want you to use that as a cop-out. Those are excuses. And I do not want you to make excuses. I do not want you to use those kinds of statements and mindsets as a cop-out. You can make your systems work. And you've got to. You've got to document them and make good systems that work for your customers, for your employees, and ultimately for yourself so that you can have a turnkey business. So there are five things that make a system work. And uh, I'm assuming first that you have things documented, you've got your procedures written. And so what that does, number one, is it sets expectations. You want to have everything documented and written down and you want to communicate that to your employees and say, here's how we do this. This is the procedure. And you have a procedure written for everything you do. And you may have a hundred procedures in your business, maybe more. And so you're not going to write them all next week. You're going to write them over time. And if every week you can just write a, you know, a few or you know, even just one, depending on your business. But start collecting and just every week add to it and add to it you're going to get that documentation of procedures that you need. And the reason that's so critical is because that gives you the written expectations of what you want your team members, your employees, your staff to do. And so if expectations aren't clear, the system will not work. So number one is make sure you've got clear expectations, it's documented, and it's communicated properly. The second thing that makes a, a system work is rewards. You want to give rewards for people who do it and do it right. And the rewards don't always have to be monetary. They can be verbal praise. They can be recognition. Uh, they can be uh, small things. And so it's great if you can even create a culture where, where there, there are rewards happening all the time, just small things, even if it's just... Uh, notes of recognition, recognitions in company meetings, but you want to have some way to reward, to recognize and reward people who follow the process or follow the procedure and who follow the system. So number one, what makes the system work? Clear expectations. Things are documented and communicated. Number two are rewards, rewards and recognition. Number three is consequences. When systems aren't followed, when procedures are not followed, sometimes there are natural consequences that, that just happen. You know, things break, a cut, you lose a customer, things like that, and you just let that employee know. You help them understand, hey, these are the consequences. This is what happens when you don't follow the system. And you talk about that with them, and you have a coaching and, and correction conversation with them uh, to help them understand, yeah, there are real consequences if I don't follow the system. And so that's one component. Another, another may be just the fact that you have to provide a consequence. Maybe there's no um, natural consequence that you can afford, uh, but you have to create a consequence. So the consequence may be uh, something that's more disciplinary. We're going to have a corrective conversation, uh, and you have a corrective action meeting. And maybe even it's, if it's a severe enough system or process or procedure, you may even have to have a written uh, correction 
procedure uh, or a meeting. And so, I mean, if it gets to the severe point, you know, you, you may have to let an employee go, which we don't want that to happen. But sometimes it has to because some people just are not going to follow the system. They're not going to follow the procedures. So there, there's got to be clear expectations. There need to be rewards. There needs to be consequences when systems and processes are not followed. And then fourthly, communication. How you talk about that system, how you talk about the process, how you talk about our way of doing it. And I, I encourage business owners to say, you know, there are a lot of companies in our industry that may do it different ways, but this is our way. And establish your way as part of your culture. This is the way we do it here. You know, if, if your company is, is a Jones Pool Service, you say, this is the Jones Pool Service way. Uh, and, and you help your employees start thinking that way, and you're talking about it and communicating. And your style and, and the way you communicate is really important. You don't want to be punitive. You don't want to be heavy-handed, but you want to be clear. We do this for a reason, and here's the reason. And it's important that we all work together on this and create a team atmosphere around it. And then the fifth component that makes a system work, and this is, this is really important, it is the behavior patterns of you, the leader. I've seen business owners create and document systems, and then they didn't follow it. They didn't do it themselves. They had another way to do it. And when your employees see that your behavior is different than what you're expecting from them, then that just undermines the, the credibility and the respect for the process or the system. So keep these five things in mind. This is what makes a system work. Clear expectations, rewards, consequences, clear communication, and the example you set as the business owner. Thank you.